Round two action continues here at the Swatch Women's Pro. Heat number six features two Australians doing battle. Nikki Van Dyke from Phillip Island down in the state of Victoria. Laura Enever representing North Narrabeen up in the northern beaches of Sydney. All looking for a spot into round three on a nice sunny, rippable day here in San Clemente, California. So insane to see the battle with Sage and Malia as we get right into this one with Laura Enever. A little bit deep at the start, so she's not going to commit to the inside track. That now hands priority over to Nikki Van Dyke. Well, you know, on the World Tour, there's no room for inconsistency. Um, everyone is at the highest level, and um, you have to surf up to that bar and to, to stay here and win. And um, confidence is something I, I've been missing, and I feel I have that. So I'm hoping to go a few more heats through and get my butt on that podium. <laughs> Congratulations, Sage. Back to you, Joe. Thanks, Chelsea. Sage Erickson moving on to round three as we catch up to the tail end of a lengthy right-hander wow. for Nikki Van Dyke to take the lead over Laura Enever. Laura demanded the first wave and ended up having to kick out. And Nikki capitalized on her opener as this heat is just getting underway. They've seen different competitors when it comes to the top 17. And we saw Sage get over a huge hurdle with Malia Manuel. Now Laura Enever looks to answer back. Wrapping cutback, it'll hold her high off the top and end up ending that ride. Yeah, you know, back going back to Sage, you know, she said she wants to get herself on that podium, and I think if she surfs the way she did in that last heat, she's got a good shot at it. You know, she's got to keep that consistency going from heat to heat. Let's have a look at Nikki Van Dyke's opening wave. Beautiful start right there. Great maneuver in the pocket, just swooping cutback. I like that clean transition between her turns. There's no glitches in those... Uh, transition between maneuvers which I really like from her surfing. This wave is just so good for these ladies just to open up and attack the wave as she did right at the end right there. Started off strong, finished strong. We're looking at a score close to the excellent range for that wave. There's a lot of brother-sister combos at that event. Obviously Tyler and Owen, that's a staple. And then we also had Mason and Coco back at Bells. What do you think of Laura's wave? Yeah, Laura's wave, you know, nice start too. Drew, drew off the bottom there, just maybe a little bit too faded a little bit too much and kind of got caught up right there and decides to kick out so it's not going to be a huge score for Laura. Uh, the good thing is though that she's back out in the lineup with priority 22 and a half remaining but I tell you what once she hears the score that's going to be dropped for uh, Nikki Van Dyke it's going to be that sense of urgency. Laura's got to just eliminate the mistakes. Big scores dropped though for Nikki Van Dyke's opening wave, Joe. An 8.33 out of the gates for Nikki Van Dyke to put pressure on Laura right at the start Looking at 20 minutes on the clock right now, Laura Enever locks in a 2.0, has a .77 before that. No traffic, heading down to Oceanside. We're heading north up into LA for the offices for the WSL up in Santa Monica. We're getting right back into action. Laura Enever, a little setup work to start. Highlining this inside track, she'll have a big, solid closeout section and she'll just fly away. So waiting for that opportunity to come back. Classic dismount, but won't be close to the score. And he's a 6.34. Pots, you've been talking about wave selection the last couple of days. That wave looked really solid at the start. I think kept stretching out and didn't give her too many options. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, look at it. It looks beautiful on the takeoff. And that's what brought Laura in two minds right there. You can see she didn't really commit to that first turn. But she knew she had to sort of get, get going down the line. And then, obviously, that thing straightened out and she bails. So... Out the back, though, Nikki Van Dyke's going to make her pay right now. Full wrap for Van Dyke from the state of Victoria in Australia. She'll jam it under the lip. Oh, late hook off the top takes her down. So a dreamy start for Van Dyke with the 8-3-3, and that'll be her low score at the 13-minute mark. A relatively sleepy heat as far as consistency is concerned. As we'll take another look. Yeah, Nikki, uh, I love this opening turn there. Nice low off the bottom, just driving back into that power source, waiting for it to stand up. And now she connects beautifully right there, just jams the fins in and then goes for it. It gets a sort of mistimes that bottom turn and that lip mid are halfway. So, as you said, it's going to be a low scorer for her, but she's got two, two waves on the board right now. Beautiful second turn right there and then just mistimes that last maneuver. You can see frustration right there from Nikki. She let that one go. She was on her way to another good score, Joe. And in saying that, she's still going to put, put Laura Enova in a combo situation. 
So an important part of the heat with still 12-15 remaining. She has high performance moves to rely on. Let's see what she goes for here with priority. Takes off with a lot of speed. Ton of open face. Quick carve to start. Now looking to go straight up. Coming into her third maneuver. She'll lose the handle on that down carve. Still looking for a, a score to break the combination. Start off with two completions, but just a little bit out of rhythm pots. Yeah, you could tell from the beginning of that wave, her timing was just a little bit off. You know, and try to surf her way into that, but here we go out the back. Let's see what Van Dyke does now with a deep bottom turn. Beautiful fan on the forehand, snap off the top. Little down carve to set up this inside closeout section. She'll complete a beautiful ride, looking to better a 5.0 to increase the combination on Laura. See, Nikki Van Dyke's a really smart competitor. She knows she's got Laura against the ropes, so she doesn't really have to, to push the issue. Laura, on the other hand, knows she's got to really get going. Watch this turn right here. See how she lost her balance almost right there and then goes for it. Didn't quite connect on that turn, and now she knows she's got to do something special to get a score, and that, that was a, a low percentage move right there, just unfortunately come, going down, but Watch Nikki, nice and smooth, no mistakes right here. Just clean, precise surfing. Surfing within her limits right now, which, which I like. Knows that she doesn't have to crank it up. She's got um, Laura against the ropes, that 8.33, a backup of a five. I think she's gonna better her situation and create a little bit more pressure for Laura Enova. You can see how much ground they have to cover on this wave here, lower trestles. Love that shot. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. You can see how rippable that canvas really is. There it is, Joe. A 7.83 for Nikki Van Dyke. Laura Enover back in a combination spot, but it's increased. She needs two new waves to equal 16.17. Laura's last of 4.93. You know, she's gonna go away, learn a lot from this, uh, get ready for Portugal, and her year's not over yet, so she's gotta just, you know, stay strong and keep firing. Nikki Van Dyke on to round three. As we see Nikki move on to that round three matchup.